actually put a clause in, in, in the treaty that you will not allow allow the Jewish people to live in Jerusalem. And it was the Muslims who brought the Jewish people back into Jerusalem, right? So this rhetoric out there, or this propaganda out there, that the Muslims are somehow anti-Semitic, Muslims are anti-Jewish, Muslims want to wipe out the Jewish people. This is, this is a lie. But doesn't the hadith say we don't believe it. the last hour we don't believe it. until we the meet, we meet, we meet beautiful gentlemen like yourself who, 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 who change our perception? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're. yeah we're, we're. Oh, come on, bro. We'll run away from no one, bro. We'll run away from no one, brother. No one, no one. No one. No one will run away. I can, I, can I, can I, can I give you a hug? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice meeting you. Very nice talking. Okay. Hey. We'll we'll Rabbi. You, we invite you for a dinner with us if you have time, but and I can see that you have to leave. Yes, but it was very nice talking well to you. And, and this is what we need: the Jewish people as a Muslim. I have what I already have. Yeah, keep the communication. We need to keep the communication going. We need to keep the communication going. We need to keep the Break all these barriers. Thank you so much for talking. Rabbi. Shalom, Rabbi. 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 This, this is Christian. They want to ask you just one question. Hello, hello, Rabbi. How are you? Yeah. Right, Trinity. How long are you staying? We're here until I'm Who is he? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I, what I, can, I don't know if you heard me talk. Oh, that's okay. Come on, I've been getting the same. We're not running away. Man, don't mock him, man. Don't mock him. He's respect. Yeah. The man is respect. He's very honest. Well we, we, we respect people that respect us. People that mock us. We believe in God. We want to punish Good works. We call it the, the you, dean of Noah. You, Noah you, you must and, listen. And, yeah. and don't don't give him that. No, no, no. I yeah. was yeah. listening. For yeah. reasons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should all work together. Oh, just suggested something. Yeah. 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 Do you have your Torah on you by any chance? Excuse me, what? Do you have your Torah on you? Torah? A Torah on me? Okay, I can bring it up. Okay. I don't have a Torah on me. I just wanted to ask clarification on this verse. Because they keep saying they the, ask, the subject is they keep saying the ask <coughs> Trinity is being mentioned in the Old Testament. I mean the Jewish book. Look, I, as, I, as I mentioned before, our prophecy is not a science. Yeah. It's very easy to read things into verses, and it's very hard to prove one is correct is not. Okay. And and the Christians have a very long line of tradition reading it a certain way, which okay. they support well, the Messiah. So this yeah. is um, as you're talking about prophecy. This is Genesis 49:10. I just wanted to know if you could uh, explain that to me. Which one? Genesis 49.10. Just right there. <coughs> uh, except to another, this, this is, this is all in the, um, the Torah. blessing, no, this is all the blessings of Moses yeah, yeah, when he was given yeah, yeah. to the 12 tribes. Yeah, where, ten. Uh, we can start from nine of them. Yeah. Nine of them. <laughs> so when he was talking about the blessing for Judah, the then there were, uh, that they would have the monarchy, the that they would have the, the rulership. So it says, Lota Sor Shevet Ni Huda, Ni Mokhet Mi Bin Raglav, Achi Avo Shilo, Valo Yake Imayo. So, yeah. so it, I just for the English speakers, it says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, so that the tribute shall come to him, and that and the homage of the peoples be his. Yeah. So, My question is, who is this talking about? Well, again, like I said, if, if, if you, I can, I can show you another verse. Of, I mean, this yeah. is talking about Judah. I mean, right here. Okay. The descendants would have the, the monarchy. Because this verse reference is Shiloh. It's Shiloh, yeah. Shiloh yeah. So is, who is, is Shiloh? The, Shiloh? The, there's various interpretations. One that's similar yeah. to the Christian interpretations is King Messiah. Okay, so this verse is about the Messiah. King Messiah. Okay, so when you remember the Messiah, yeah. is, uh, unlike Christianity, the, the, the word Messiah in Islam and, yeah. and, and in Christianity and Judaism is used differently. Yeah. Uh, it, well, Cyrus is called the Messiah in the Old Testament. Yeah. Uh, the, the high priest is called Messiah. Yeah. Uh, you have a prophet, yeah. you know, uh, speaks the word of God. Yeah. And the Messiah, from our yeah. point of view, somebody who does 
does the word of God. He's not a big speaker, but somebody who does does what you're supposed to do. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, when we talk about uh, King Messiah, we're talking about somebody who come at the end of days. Yeah. Like the Almighty. So this is talking about the Messiah. Yeah. Okay. Come at the end of days. So bring peace in the whole world until until the the golden age of mankind. So is there still a scepter in Judea in Judah? We believe so. Yes. Wait, wait. That he's the only one allowed to have the monarchy. No, but it says the scepter shall not depart yeah, he, from Judah. Yeah, he has the authority. But the, 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 the tribe of Judah has the authority to be kings. But there's no kings in Israel at the moment. Well, but they have the authority. If they wanted to be kings, they could be. How do they have the authority? Because they're from the tribe of Judah. No, but we're saying, okay, we're saying, this is saying the scepter shall not depart from Judah. Right. But you're saying the scepter is still scepter with Judah. The scepter is the authority to have, the scepter is not a scepter that you hold in your hand. Yes, the, the scepter authority. is the authority to be kings. Okay. And when the Hasmoneans and the Maccabees tried to be kings, and yes. they were they were from the tribe of uh, so, Romero, so they, they negated this and, and they, they had a lot of problems. So didn't the, didn't the Romans take the power of the... That doesn't matter, they still, the authority is still with Judah. Whatever the Romans did, so, it's already so, Okay, it. brother, yes, uh, you asked for one question. The last question, we need to go. <laughs> oh, are you going? Yeah, we'll I have okay. to go. Yeah. some private stuff. So. Okay, that's fine. Let last, me just ask question. one more question. Um, we'll go to Genesis. He come all the way from Jerusalem. He hasn't slept for I'm, for I'm a historian between uh, Islamic and Jewish history. I, I'm not really prepared to uh, yeah, that's fine. discuss uh, okay. other people. To and, I, and I'm a historian, not a theologian. I'm not to, uh, okay, that's fine. Well, it's a bit of a theological question, but... This is one my last question anyway. One thing, I'll tell you something interesting as a historian. Yeah. yeah the, we have Passover. Yeah. And then between Passover, we have four, uh, till, till uh, Pentecost, we have uh, 49 days, okay. seven weeks. And we've just entered this period now with the counting of the Omer. And you're not allowed, uh, during this time, you're not allowed to eat any new... Uh, 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 new grains. Okay. They had to be brought to the temple. Okay. Now there were Sadducees who, not 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 the rabbinical Jews like today, who, who understood that to mean that you you couldn't eat at all. They turned it. They would not eat water. They wouldn't. Uh, they would completely fast during this time between uh, uh, Passover and and uh, this. So if you look at the Islamic calendar, you have Rosh Hashanah is the same as Rosh Hashanah, okay. and Yom Kippur is the same as Ashura, and Leil Barat is the same as Passover, and Adatha is the same as this. And, and then Ramadan, the past the Ramadan is this corresponds to the same time that these Jews of Arabia who were not eating any food because they were mourning for the temple was destroyed. Okay. Now the Byzantines didn't like this idea. They said Easter's coming, you have to be rejoice. They forbid fasting after. So what did they do? They moved the forty days of fasting to before Easter. Okay. What's that called? Lent. Lent. So Lent, Ramadan, and Sphere's Omer all come from the same thing. Okay. And that's what I'm here to say. Okay, cool. And but just my uh, last question okay, that I wanted to ask question. you is Genesis 19:24. If you can explain this verse for me. That's absolutely last. Yeah. Yeah, last question. Absolutely last. That's it. Obviously, you said he's not a theologian, but you can at least give some a Jewish interpretation. What is it? Which one? Which verse? Uh, Jewish. Uh, sorry. 19:24. Uh, And God uh, rained down on Sodom, uh, Gafrit, uh, fire, surface fire of Esh, Met, Hashem, Mine uh, yeah. There was uh, God caused uh, fire to rain from the heavens. So can you just like say in English? Oh, I can read it. That's what I just said. I so said. It says the Lord. Well, no, this this uh, this. Hashem. This translates it from the Lord. You should, you should, so use, a, you should use a better translation. This, this is from Safari. Uh, from they, they, they should use, you should, the, 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 the Chabad's got a much better translation with Rashi on it. It does it a lot better. But it, it, what it's saying here is Mi et Hashem is from the cause. Right. God caused the, the 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 fire to rain down from heaven. heaven. So there was so the God is named twice in this yeah. verse. Yeah. So it's showing God in two locations. Why? Because it's saying the Lord rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah by and brimstone from the Lord that was in heaven. No, what it's saying is it is a miracle. It says God caused yes. caused this to rain down from heaven. Yes. And it wouldn't happen in a natural but way. But where does it say from? What? It says from. No, that it's, but that's what I'm saying. Me'et Hashem doesn't mean it from a location. It means that God caused it. Okay. It means this came by the command of God. <laughs> God rained it down and the same came through a command of God. 
Okay. Okay. Two different locations. Yeah. All right. Okay. So because we don't have time, that's look, why. Look, I really recommend. Yeah, yeah. You got to look at this. You got to look at this with Rashi. Yes. To really understand it, there's so yes. many ways you can read it. Because the, because, no... because the rabbis say that was an angel and God was in heaven, but no, I don't have which time. Which rabbi say that? Okay, let's. If we have time for it to go into the Jewish interpretation. Card. Take his card. Yeah. Take his card. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure this, app, this sure. is a Jewish app and I have the time read on it. That's yeah, why. obviously you have to respect him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, we don't have time to go into it. Okay, this brother would ask something related to that and then we have to go. Okay, he's got something. Look, look. Wait, 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 wait. This question is relating to the understanding of the I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. So now we have Muslim. Uh, Jewish uh, rabbi I and mean, you have a Christian representation here. Just to yes. understand this, in, in your overall understanding, remember I'm a historian, I'm not a theologian. I'm going to ask you a theological question. Okay. From his historical understanding of the, the concept of Messiah, was the Messiah ever to be understood in, in, in the historical tradition of the Jewish faith? That he will be crucified, or he will be killed, or he will be dead. Well, again, I said that they, they, first of all, the word Messiah is used completely differently in, in the Quran and in the New Testament and in, in the Torah. In the Torah, it refers to somebody who's anointed from God to do something. It refers to Cyrus, it refers to uh, the high priest. These are people who do something, it's not like a, pro a prophet speaks to God. I think he's referring to Hamashiach. Yeah, well, the, the, but it's just a Messiah, it's Messiah, it's the same Yeah, word. but the, the King Messiah then. It's well, but it doesn't say King Messiah, but, but who, so, who was we, the question? He, he, so he's asking about, I think, is there anything that refers to the King Messiah? Well, no, I think you were talking about crucifixion. That's yeah, not King yeah. Messiah. That would be suffering Messiah. Okay, so there was a, a suffering uh, Messiah. There are many Messiahs. There are, there are, there are, there are, not just two. There's not, there are many different kinds of Messiah. But some people, there's some verses that say there's some uh, no interpretations that there were 12 well. Messiahs, one from each tribe. So is there a suffering Messiah within the Tanakh? Yeah, the there's, an idea, there's an idea that Hezekiah was a suffering uh, Messiah. Yeah. Not on the, not on the okay, maybe you want to ex expand so on your but, point. But so crucifixion, all that stuff, not, not much. Yeah. No, no, no. In fact, it's a curse. Uh, crucifixion is considered uh, somebody's cursed if, they're, it's it's that's not, the uh, if that would happen, that would be the, uh, the pagans would be doing it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when the Jewish, uh, when the Christians are <coughs> leaving Jesus to be their Messiah, to come at one point of time, okay. to be their Messiahs, was there a concept like this that he will be crucified, or he will be hanged, or he will be well, killed? Well, not among rabbinic Judaism, but again, the Jewish people believe that God re revealed himself. When he, when he gave the Torah, he gave the Torah in 70 languages. He, he, he went to, from Paran, he went from Mount Seir, it even says he, he, he spoke in Arabic, he spoke in Latin. He gave the Torah in many different languages. So it's obvious to the Jewish people that there were things going on amongst other people that the Jewish people didn't know about. And so we can't, we don't know everything. What, 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 what went on with the, with the Notzri and with the Nazara, this was a group of people that uh, Josephus even seems to hint at that they were existing even long before Jesus. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't know. I mean, uh, so I can't make a decision on what God was some did with some other people. Can I just get one last question? No, sorry, I'm, I'm right, right one being. All right. Okay, good to see you. All right, thank Keep you. Keep up the good work, Mrs. Home. Get everybody to return to God. <laughs> yes, get everybody that's what we're trying to do. Yes, that's what, that's what we're doing, Rabbi. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously, I didn't really get to. Uh, question him properly but in that 1924 clearly he was trying to interpret it there and then to say it's referring as the command of God but if we go into the classical interpretations that's not what they say they will say it was the angel of the Lord and then there was God in heaven so we clearly see God named twice but because I didn't have any time to go into the Talmud or anything to show them that actually what he's saying is against the rabbis but you know he would have really struggled with there, uh, like with my questioning, and clearly he seems to be favouring, uh, like Islam, to say yes, it's kind of similar saying about Ramadan, but then he doesn't. Why did they should show him the uh, the hadith where it says the last hour will not come until the uh, Muslims fight and kill all the Jews, and if a Jew is hiding behind the tree, the tree will be saying here is a Jew, but clearly. 
I think this is what the Bible talks about when the Jews have been blinded and then they will make a covenant with the Antichrist because even from my conversation earlier on today we saw that the Messiah had to come from the, the line of David so if they could not establish this person from the line of David and this uh, rabbi as well is uh, associating with Islam and stuff and saying yes we're all the same then clearly we see how the lawless one will operate he, and how he'll be able to deceive but you know Muslims seem to think that rabbis can uh, <laughs> refute Christians but they have more problems trying to explain the Torah <coughs> because clearly they then have to jump to the Mishnah and what um, the Quran says about Jews clearly they have a catch-22 situation where they have difficulties because even when I questioned him on Genesis 49:10. He was saying that the, the power is still with the Jews. No, it's not. So clearly this rabbi doesn't know what he's talking about, but we didn't have time to go into it. And I didn't want to kind of take up his time. But clearly we see the more times we talk to Jews, they clearly do not have a very comprehensive understanding of the scripture. And this is why they're still waiting for the Messiah.